What's up Internet, Dice Crick here, and so, today, in this video, I just wanted to give you guys kind of a, a summary of everything that's been taking place in the last couple months, and I have a couple special treats for you guys at the end of the video that I am super excited to share with you. Um, but, uh, yeah, in this video, I'm going to be giving an update of what's been going on the last couple months, why everything's been kind of slow on the channel, and also... Um, if you're interested in kind of how things have been going on JET uh, with me, which is the Japanese Exchange Teaching Program, <laughs> I'll be telling you guys a little bit about that as well. So, um, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so to get started, long story short, the reason why we haven't had a lot of content coming out in the last two-ish months is because... Well, frankly, I've just been really busy. <laughs> There's been a lot of crazy stuff happening, and the last two months, although they've been difficult, they've also been very exciting and also just very interesting. Uh, so I wanted to share a little bit about that with you guys uh, without going too in-depth about each thing, unless you have questions, uh, which I can answer in the comments. Uh, and I also want to tell you about the last three things at the end of the video. So first off, for those of you that don't know, I'm currently a JET ALT, which is a Japanese... I'm sorry, Japanese exchange uh, teaching program teacher. I'm, I'm an assistant language teacher, so I help out with a Japanese teacher of English in teaching English here in Japan. Okay, wow, that was a mouthful. But anyway, a position opened up in Miyagi called a Miyagi Jet ALT PA. Okay, so an assistant language teacher prefectural advisor. And essentially this job is like... <clears throat> Uh, I would be organizing different trainings, and I also would be training other ALTs and doing a lot of other administrative stuff. And so, when this position opened up inside my prefecture, I was like, whoa, that sounds really cool. Uh, I was a youth pastor, and I've worked at a couple different churches, and all of the kind of responsibilities of this job just really resonated with me, so I was excited to apply for it. And it took a lot of work. <laughs> I had to make a resume and an SOP, a statement of purpose, uh, in English and Japanese. I had an interview and that was really scary because it was like a Japanese interview. Uh, but uh, ultimately, I got accepted. They, they asked me if I wanted the job. So in like six or seven months, me and my wife, Edith, are going to be probably moving to Sendai uh, from here in Kamimachi. So uh, that's a big change for us and that's been taking a lot of time in the last couple months. Uh, in addition, we've also been preparing for the JLPT, which took place in December. So me and my wife, we really wanna to continue to study Japanese and be able to communicate better with people in Japan, like I think a lot of you guys are. If you're studying Japanese, let me know in the comments. Uh, but yeah, so uh, we have the JLPT that we were prepping for, and I haven't got the results yet, so <laughs> we'll see soon. Uh, but uh, while that was happening, uh, I also, along with the other Jets in our area, all, all the other ALTs, uh, we were asked by our supervisor to put together a commercial, which was going to be submitted into a contest for Miyagi, where all of the towns in Miyagi and all of the cities uh, basically put in a commercial and then they have a competition to decide which town had the best commercial, okay? So, um, because I do YouTube videos, they asked me if I wanted to edit the video together and I offered to, so I edited the video. And because I edited the video, they asked, hey, Tim, when we have our commercial on TV, do you want to give like a little speech before, like on TV, about our commercial and how we made it and why we made it? And I was like, okay. So uh, that took a lot of prep and time as well, including a full Saturday where it was like nine hours of clapping, but it was very fun. And so hopefully in another video, I'll tell you guys what it's like being on Japanese television uh, with my friend Ted. So that'll <laughs> be a fun time, but not right now. Uh, this video is already kind of a little bit lengthy. But <clears throat> in addition to making this Kamimachi commercial and also the JLPT and also the job that I applied for, uh, there also was a training that I was asked to give here in Kamimachi as well. So me and Ted, uh, we were asked to put together and... Uh, basically train ALTs in our area as well as some uh, JTEs like help provide uh, some training for them So uh, that was super cool, but it took a lot of effort and time uh, And in addition to all of that there also was Christmas and New Year's So I'm so sorry guys that uh, our content's been coming out a little bit slow. It's just been 
so many crazy things happening at the same time, and lots of good things like the job and uh, the JLPT is always good. The CM uh, thing. Oh, by the way, I can't show the commercial on my channel because it legally doesn't own or it's not owned by us. So yeah, if you want to see that, I'll put a link in the description of the video uh, to the commercial. Hopefully, when I'm talking about the commercial and everything in a separate video and being on TV, I'll have some clips of the TV program where, like, we were on it. So, anyway, uh, that was kind of all of the things that have happened in the last two months. But now, I want to tell you about some fun stuff. So, in addition to all of this stuff, I've actually been working on a bunch of background content for the Dice Quirk channel. And if you're interested in Japan, if you're interested in Japanese culture, if you're interested in hmm, traveling to Japan, then this stuff is going to be awesome for you. You're going to be so excited once you hear about it. The first thing is Dice Quirk as a channel finally has a newsletter. Now in our newsletter, we're going to include three pieces of content uh, every single month, okay? And it's going to come out on the 28th of every month uh, because every month has a 28th. Just seemed like the most easy option for me. Uh, so anyway, we're, the first thing we're going to include is a location. Okay, and so these locations are all from Japan. That way you can continue to learn more about the different places in Japan and find places that you're excited to visit. Uh, we're going to teach you a little bit about every location, might tell you a little bit about the most exciting things at those locations. And then if you're really interested, we'll have a link to a more in-depth article that might talk about the history or it might talk about the special foods and different things that you can find at that location. So that's number one. Number two, we are going to have a culture bite. Essentially, a culture bite is a load of information packed into a bite-sized piece of content, okay? So these are gonna be little blurbs about different pieces of Japanese culture like Daruma, uh, like Kokeshi, um, just Tere Tere Bozu, a bunch of different things. Uh, so uh, we're going to have that, and then it'll probably have a link to a more in-depth article or a video about that particular piece of culture in case you're interested in it, uh, so that you can continue to the, the things that you see in Japan, but you have no idea what they are, you'll continue to learn more about those things. <laughs> and the third piece of content that's going to be in every single newsletter is uh, a travel tip. So if you're ever planning on traveling to Japan, then this is just a great way to continue to put these things in the back of your mind so that when you do travel there, you just have this wealth of knowledge that'll make your trip more amazing. Okay? <laughs> so. Every month, it'll include all three of these pieces of content. And if you sign up for our newsletter, uh, which I'll have a way for you to sign up in the pinned comment as well as in the description of this video, uh, basically, for the first seven days, we are going to give you one piece of each of these, okay? So one day, you might get a culture bite. Uh, one day, you might get a special location. One day, you might get a travel tip. And then at the end of the uh, seven days, because we want to do seven days of just giving you more resources and content, uh, we'll have another little gift for you as well. So uh, definitely consider signing up for that. I'm super excited about it, and it's a way that I can give you more content every single month. And for people that don't like videos all the time, uh, having a little bit of reading and pictures and stuff is really nice. So uh, make sure you consider it. Secondly, I've also been doing a lot of work on our Dice Quirk website, dicequirk.com. And on dicequirk.com, you'll be able to find articles about some of these locations and stuff. Uh, this is where I'll be putting all of the extra information that you could read uh, from our newsletter. Uh, in addition, there's a bunch of recommended stuff, and uh, I've been trying to make sure that the pages load a little bit faster for you guys to make it a better user experience. But if anyone wanted to check out the website, uh, I actually have a critique section on the homepage where you can click on a button uh, that basically you can give me uh, some feedback on about how you feel about the website. And so I would love to hear from any of you guys about uh, just if you like the layout of the website, if the colors and everything are okay, you know, just <laughs> anything that you can think of. Uh, so please check that out, dicequirk.com. I would love to hear your feedback. And the third thing, which I am super excited about, okay? <clears throat> This is something that I've been working on for the last year, and I'm finally, finally uh, getting it finished and out there. Uh, but if you're somebody that is interested in traveling to Japan, you know, you love the culture, maybe you love anime, manga, you just really want to go to Japan. And so you have this dream in the back of your head, but you continue to think, you know, I really want to go, 
but I just don't think it's possible. I don't think it can happen. <sighs> well, then this is perfect for you, okay? I have been working for the last year on a book called How to Plan Your Trip to Japan. And in this book, I give you a step-by-step -step process on how you and a group of friends can plan a trip that's going to make those dreams that you've had in the back of your head come true, okay? And it really is just an awesome step-by-step -step process that I've been working very hard on putting together for you guys. But in addition to this step-by-step -step process, it also has a number of different graphics and diagrams that I put together to help you guys have a more understa uh, understandable experience. It's just really easy to understand, uh, but <clears throat> there's that. There's also a number of QR codes that'll take you to special websites and useful websites for planning your trip to Japan. Uh, it also has the ability to be speed read. <clears throat> I've highlighted and bolded a number of different things throughout every single page inside of the book so that you can very quickly go through it. But I definitely recommend reading everything. There's a lot of great tips inside of there for planning your trip that uh, because it's not the most pertinent information, it's not been highlighted, but it's definitely great stuff. Uh, there's also a number of other resources like a packing list, a uh, personal copy of my last itinerary that I use when I travel to Japan as a, a tourist, you know, <laughs> and a bunch of other great stuff inside of the book. So, uh, if you're interested in that, uh, I definitely would love uh, to hear any questions that you might have about the book or about our newsletter. Uh, maybe it's about our website or even uh, the position that I was just hired for, uh, the Japanese, uh, sorry, the JET program, ALTPA. Uh, you know, any questions you guys have at all. Uh, as far as the book goes, it's actually on pre-order right now on Amazon. And so I'll have a link to that in the description of this video and also in the pinned comment. Uh, right now, it's being sold for $5. So, <laughs> just a forewarning, the book uh, is going to be released on February 11th. And anybody that buys the pre-order of the book or buys the book in the first week after uh, it's been released, you will be able to buy it for $5. After that, the price is going to be going up. So, uh, just wanted to let you guys know ahead of time, anybody that watches this video has a, a better opportunity to pick up the book at a discounted price. So, uh, definitely make sure you check that out. And also, uh, if you're interested in the JET program, uh, I have a couple videos so that you can actually move to Japan as well and work in Japan. And believe me, it's been quite the experience. So, uh, I can answer any questions about that as well. So, yeah, I'll, uh, yeah. I, that's everything guys that's everything I wanted to tell you guys about I hope that you guys have had an awesome new year and that you've had an awesome Christmas and just the last two months have been just as full of uh, experiences and opportunities as it has for us uh, even though it's been tough it's been a fun time and yeah I'm excited to see you guys here so I'll see you in the next video Dice Quirk out hey.